Today, Governor Baker gave an update on where the Commonwealth stands in its fight against the coronavirus. And we have 22 News Today House reporter Jody Reed live in Boston tonight. And Jody, there are some trends that we're looking at in regards to the COVID data, right? Don, Massachusetts has seen a steady increase in cases over the last few months, but this week in particular, cases were higher than, the, than what we saw back in the spring. The Department of Public Health reported that more than 86,000 tests were conducted on Thursday. Of those tests, 1,700 new COVID cases were detected. Our positive test rate has also increased. A number that was once below 1% is currently at 1.9%. Governor Baker reported today that there are 18,000 active COVID cases in the Commonwealth. To help cities and towns identify just how bad the problem is, DPH has announced a new data reporting model. Municipalities will be divided into categories based on their population. Then they will be ranked in a gray to red system. Red being high risk, yellow being moderate risk, and green being low risk. Now gray, which means less than 10% of cases were reported. This new system is designed to help cities and towns determine if they need to shut certain businesses down or close schools temporarily to help contain the spread of the virus. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Jody Reed, 22 News.